Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. My name is Ebola Man. You actually in today's video we are going to count down top 15 RPG plus indie games which is out there in 2024 and you have to play it. I wanna tell you a secret. 99% of you viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So that's because of my video sucks, yeah I know. But I really appreciate it. if you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Help me follow my niche. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Let's dive into the video. Number 15. Subterrain Minds of Titan. The sequel to 2006 Subterrain takes players even further from Earth, increasing the stakes in another story of debate, sci-fi survival. Walking up from a stasis in an abandoned mine filled with twisted mutants, you'll have to craft and fight for your life as you try to find a way off the doomed moon. Subterrain Minds of Titan uses time as an adversary just as deadly as monster. Taking too long can cause you to miss opportunities or even pass a point of no return as the mines grow closer to collapse. This is a game that could certainly require a few tries to manage to win. Number 14. Felvidek Felvidek is a solo project that's already found its way to overwhelmingly positive review on Steam in just a few short weeks. Set in medieval Slovakia, it puts you in the role of Pavel, a drunken knight seeking to drive out invaders. Felvidek's style has look, simple but challenging battles and a storytelling position it has a cult classic in the making. While it's not yet verified on a Steam Deck, players are reporting that it will find on the platform making it a good choice for games on the goal. Number 13. Inkbound. If you played Monster Train, you probably don't need any convincing to try Shiny Show's new game, Inkbound. The devs have returned their expertise to turn-based tactical battles with free movement and option for multiplayer co-op. As a Guardians of the Athenium, a repository of every story ever written, you'll enter a world within the library's book to defeat monsters and restore balance. Whether you're going in solo or with up three other players, Inkbound has tons of classic to unlock items to find and abilities to draft, making it one of the 2024's standouts roguelite experience. Number 12. Colony Ships Colony Ships offer a challenging hardcore CRPG experience in a deliciously dangerous sci-fi setting. The titular vessel was launched to bring human colonists to Proxima Century slower than light speeds, a journey measured in centuries. As one of the descendants of the original crew, your character and everyone else you meet was born and will die aboard the ship. Exploring the vessel and getting to know the society that evolved within its hull lets you immerse yourself in the game setting. And the combat and character development are crunching enough to satisfy fans who like to earn their victorious. How will your actions shape the destiny of the colony ship? Number 11. Legends of Amberland 2. Of course, if you want some real old school first person exploration, it's hard to find a more faithful recreation of this last form of RPG than Legend of Amberland. Like its predecessor, Legend of Amberland 2 is a nostalgia trip for fans of Might and Magic or Ultima. With a party of seven, you'll venture forth into a large open world. Assisted by modern quality of life improvements like quick combat and fast travel, it's also designed to work on older machine, making it a great choice if you're overdue for an upgrade. Number 10. Archloot. Imagine first-person exploration in the style of Skyrim, but when battles is joined, the perspective switches to tactical battles like those in Baldur's Gate. That's what 4 Dimension Games is going for with their early access title Archelon. Combining elements from two of the most influential RPGs of all time is certainly ambitious, and the devs are rising to the challenge. The game's career-based leveling system focuses on giving you more options than simply making your party stronger, so fighting smart is the way to go. Number 9. Pixel Noir Pixel Noir is a hard-boiled mystery in a dark and dreary near future city. As a private eye with a haunted past, you'll deal with ruthless criminals and crook cops in your search for answers. Pixel Noir is more than just a detective story, though it offers combo-driven turn-based battles when you'll need timing and help from your allies to fight off the many threats of Pinnacle City. Try it if you're looking for a JRPG that's different from the usual sci-fi fantasy blend. Number 8. Zoria Age of Shattering 
Zoria is a combat-focused tactical RPG that can scratch your fantasy itch, especially if you're looking for a game that lets you play around with builds and combos, with base building exploration and even followers that you can send on mission of their own, Zoria offers a plenty to do. While Zoria might not have a deeply personal storytelling of Borderlands Gate 3, its high-powered fantasy battles have a lot to offer. Create and customize your team and send out for adventure. Number 7. Goblin Stone In this adorable look like by Orc Chop Games, you lead a band of goblins seeking a new home after being nearly wiped out by adventurers. In between turn-based battles, get slowly develop the goblins lair and breed your little green heroes to create a bloodline able to stand up to any threats. Goblin Stone has fun, cartoony visuals but sometimes harsh roles. Goblins that fall in the battle are gone for good, and you may need to sacrifice some for the good of the tribe. It has plenty of build options, enemies and regions to keep you coming back. Number 6. Terra Memoria With its blend of 3D backgrounds and character sprites, Terra Memoria evokes the golden age of PlayStation 1 RPGs. Not only will you get to explore a world of magic and robots solving puzzles and winning battles, but you'll also get to build a cozy camp for your party to return to after a day of adventuring. If you're looking for an RPG with plenty of heart that won't break the bank, Terra Memoria is a great choice. The soundtrack and art book are also available either separately or are a part of the deluxe edition bundle. Number 5. Broken Roads Broken Roads is a heartful RPG in the vein of classic Fallout set in the Western Australia after nuclear war. Its gameplay is as simple as RPGs goes, but that just lets you appreciate the setting and characters without getting bogged down in min maxing miniature. Your choice place your character on the game's unique moral compass, which not only defines their life philosophy and how others react, but also grants a unique skills in combat. It's also one of the only games we think of where you get to fight a giant mutant colossus. Number 4. Anatomy Collapse Anomaly Collapse You know, about weeks ago, released post-apocalyptic RPG Anomaly Collapse is the darkest dungeon meets Cult of the Lamb, pitting cute anthropomorphic mercenaries against mutant supernatural horrors. The game's single-lane positional combat challenges you to push hazards, block important spaces, and corner your opponents. Anomaly Collapse offers 8 playable characters with whom to build your team and thousands of monsters to face in the battle. This game would make a great animated series. Check it out to see what we mean. Number 3. Warhammer Rogue Trader Warhammer Rogue Trader is a full CRPG package exploring the planets of Kronos Expanse, getting to know your party members and forging your legacy as the heir to the dynasty plan. With excellent tactical combat that makes the Warhammer franchise proud, Rock Trader puts you in a charge of entire planets with millions of workers, soldiers and ships working unseen under you. It's a level of personal power that few protagonists get to enjoy during the game. So if you like ruling in Pathfinder Kingmaker, you'll, <laughs> you'll want to have to sit on the Lord Captain's throne. Number 2. Shattered Heaven While we are all waiting for Slade Spire 2, Shattered Heaven is a great way to keep your deck building skills sharp. Each of your three party members gets their own deck, focused on their unique mechanics allowing for more combo potential as find a build that works best for you. Beyond its gameplay, Shattered Heaven has a dark fantasy setting brought to life by beautiful character art and hunting backgrounds. They're also free demo to try, and the game is on the sale until 2021. Of April. And number one, the Taumaturge. The early 20th century makes fascinating setting for the game, with the world in the midst of enormous change, add the creepy demonic spirits called Solotars and mystical conspiracies into the mix, and you are got the fantasy RPG tale in the making. As one of the few who can bind and command Solotars, you'll find yourself caught up in a dangerous events that could decide the fate of Warsaw and, by and beyond. The Tarmotage is a great pick for RPG fans, especially if you like your games with the torch of the macabre. So this is it for this episode, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and leave your idea in the comments. Thank you everybody for watching this video, my name is Evolan, see you in the next episode, peace. The curse is up for debate. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death?
But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? What do you intend to do? Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. The boundary that separates good from evil is hazy and elusive. I didn't catch your name. Some people believe their evil deeds are the work of inner demons. Yet I know these demons don't come to those with clear conscience. They bear a name, Salutas. And they always come uninvited. That giant bird must enjoy it. I can tame these beings and bend them to my will. between thaumaturgy and insanity can be ambiguous. How about a little game? You may think that in this world our actions are ours alone, but I tend to see it rather differently. Brave enough to cross even that final boundary? My name is Viktor Shulski, and you will soon learn what the Thaumaturge is really capable of.